fiery horse for the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver, the Lone Ranger. <laughs> In the early days of the western United States, the pioneers faced many dangers. Hostile Indians, outlaw bands, and worst of all, the forces of nature. Droughts, tornadoes, floods, and plagues combined to fill the settlers' lives with hardship. But one of the first things they learned was that the masked rider of the plains, with all his strength and courage, with all his great knowledge of the country, would do everything in his power to help them. It was he, more than any other man, who made possible the winning of the West. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! We're heading for the hills! Tell us waiting for us! Hello, Silver! Away! Nine-year-old Eric Blake and his twin sister Celia watched closely while their father stood at the gate of the corral in conversation with his foreman. Inside the corral were horses of all ages and conditions. Some were old, some were young, some were wild, some were broken, some were handsome and spirited, while others were obvious scrubs. All, however, came one by one under the scrutiny of Dennis Blake and the man at his side. And whenever his father raised a hand to point out a particular animal, Eric held his breath in fear. Finally, Celia whispered to him. Eric? Eric? Huh? Is, is Pa going to sell all the horses? Uh-uh. Isn't he? No, just the ones he thinks ain't much good. Toby's good. He sure is. Then, then why are you afraid he's going to sell Toby? Oh, I don't know. He say he was? He didn't say nothing. Then why did he... Shh! What's the matter? Pa was pointing again. I wanted to see what Chaucy meant. Was it... Was it... Uh-uh. Oh. Uh, Eric. Oh, Celia, now what do you want? Who's Pa selling the horses to? He told Zeke he was selling them to Mr. Blackman. I heard him. Mr. Blackman? That's what he said. But he can't. Mr. Blackman's mean to horses. He he beats them. I know it. But he can't sell oh, them. To... Can't you keep quiet, Celia? If Pa sees us here, he'll make us go in the house. I, I wasn't speaking loud. Well, don't. Just keep still. <laughs> Say, look. Huh? See? Paul and Zeke are walking towards the pump. Can you walk real quiet like a redskin without making a sound? I guess I can walk as quiet as you can. Then come on, follow me. Maybe we can get close enough to hear what we're saying. Come on! 
out of cold drink water, Mr. Blake. I think I could stand one, Zeke. Well, just a second. <laughs> there you are. Tastes mighty good. <laughs> Think I'll take a little swig myself. <clears throat> Even tastes good mixed with tobacco. <laughs> <laughs> well, Mr. Blake, that makes about a dozen we've culled out. How many horses Blackman say he wanted to buy? Fifteen. Oh. You don't much like the idea of my selling to him, do you, Zeke? Well, it ain't for me to say nothing, Mr. Blake. You're the boss. Well, I can guess what you're thinking, and I'm not sure I blame you. But it can't be helped. I can use the money, and this has given me the opportunity to get rid of my scrubs. I've been wanting to cull these fellows out for quite a while. Uh Uh-huh. If I'm going to raise horses, I'll have to start with good, sound stock. Oh, sure. Uh, How about that bay there? What do you think of him? I rode him the other day, short-winded. Then you'll make 13. Mark him down. All right, got it. Two more now. It's getting hard to make a choice. Um, there's Adam. Yeah? Oh, mean as poison. One of these days, he's going to turn killer. Well, it looks good. Mm-hmm, but plumb dangerous to have around. You take my word on it. All right, that's 14. Now, let's see. Um, look, boss. Yeah? Um, why don't you tell Blackman he can have 14, but that's all. Hmm? How about it? Uh, just tell him you've got these to spare, but you'd better hang on to the rest of what you got. And... <laughs> what you laughing for? Zeke, you're as easy to see through as glass. Well, shucks, boss, all I said was... <laughs> sure. uh, uh, I know what you said, and I know what you meant. Yeah? You're trying to keep me from selling Toby. Oh, boss, you wouldn't do that, would you? Why shouldn't I? But, gosh, the young'uns. Mr. Blake, you ain't got no idea how much store they set on that there horse. Why, golly, he's a pet. He's the... That'll be enough, uh, Zeke. But I tell Sell you Sell that... Toby. He'll round out the 15. I promise delivery tomorrow. You know which ones are to go, so cut them out first thing in the morning. Well, if you say so, oh, but... Oh, you can't. Uh... You can't sell Toby. What the sale? Hey, you? what's this? I heard what you said, Pa. You can't sell Toby. You can't. He's my horse, and I won't let you sell Toby. Here, I now, just... hold on. You can't. You can't. Eric. Oh, please, Pa. Quiet. But I... Did you hear me, Eric? I said quiet. There now. Stop crying. I, I didn't mean to cry, Bob, but, but you promised me someday I could have a horse for all my own. Me and Phil, you hoped it'd be Toby. And now you're going to sell him. If I made you a promise, son, I'll keep it. But you're still too young to have your own horse. I, I'm going on ten. Which isn't old enough. No, son, you'll have to wait. And besides, when I do give you a horse of your own, he'll be a good one. A horse you'll be proud of. Toby's worthless. He ain't neither. I like him. We won't discuss it. Oh, but, Pa... You're going to argue? Sorry. That's better. All right, Zeke, come along. There's some things I want to show you. Uh, What do you want? I'm awful sorry, Eric. Well, you just need me. But I heard what Pa They can sell Toby if they want, but I'll get him back. You wait and see if I don't. The following day, after delivering the 15 horses to Blackman, Zeke returned and reined in his horse before the Blake Ranch house. Whoa, oh, oh boy, whoa, oh, yeah. whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh. whoa. Susie, step in. Huh. Didn't expect you back so early. Get the horse at the Blackman all right? No trouble with him at all, Mr. Blake. And there's the cash. He paid right up. Count it, will you? Yes, I think I'd better. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wife's calling you, boss. Oh, excuse me. Yeah? Dennis, I... Oh, sorry. I didn't know you were busy. It's all right. What was it? Hello, Dee. Uh, howdy, ma'am. Dennis, have you seen the children? I've been looking everywhere for them. Have you seen him, Zeke? Sorry, ma'am, but I just now got back from Blackman's place. Oh. Dennis? No, no, I haven't. How long have they been gone? Oh, I haven't seen him around since right after breakfast. They weren't home at noon. No. Oh, that's funny. Oh, I, 
I'm worried. Oh, no, I don't think that's necessary. But where could they have gotten to? <laughs> I know those two almost any but place. But, Dennis, don't oh, you... Oh, now, honey, listen. It's still a long time before sundown, and they're probably just out somewhere playing. But I think... Just you... as soon as I realize they're hungry, they'll be coming home. But what if they don't? <laughs> they always have, haven't they? <laughs> now, they'll be along. If they aren't in an hour or so, remind me, and I'll find them for you. Well, if you think they're safe... Of I... course they are. Well, Zeke... We'll count this and make sure there's been no mistake. Dennis Blake was wrong. At that very moment, Eric and his sister Celia were on a desperate mission. The two broken-hearted children were determined to rescue their beloved pet, Toby. There's Toby, Celia. See? Look through the bushes there. Eric, I'm scared. Oh, what a... If we take Toby back... Well? It'll be the same as stealing. Mr. Blackman could send us to jail. I ain't afraid. Eric, let's go back. Please, I'm so tired and and I'm awful hungry. Yeller coward. Eric Blake, I'm no such thing. Then prove that you ain't. How? Help me catch Toby. But but I don't... You are a coward. What do you want me to do? See that rock there? Uh-huh. Well, you stand atop it and watch for Mr. Blackman while I climb the fence. In the meantime, not far from Blackman's ranch, a masked man astride a great white stallion and an Indian mounting a powerful paint rode into view. The masked man gazed anxiously at the sky. Fellow. Uh-huh. Pull up. Oh, Silver. Oh, oh, oh Scott. Oh, oh, hello. Um, what manner? I was just looking at that sky to the east there. Um, plenty clouds. Rain clouds. That's right. With the wind from that direction, I think we're due for a storm. Let's cut over toward those hills. Not get water? I'd rather not stop at Blackman's place. Oh. If it rains, there'll be no need to. Every dry pool in the district will be full of water and running over. Uh, listen to that. Hmm. Under here. You know, Sabi, I've got an idea. It's not only going to rain, uh, but it's going to be a storm to remember. Come on. We'll find cover. No, no, What's that? That's trouble. Didn't that sound like a child? Uh, Where? Stop! Oh, Mr. Blackman, don't That's coming from beyond Blackman's ranch That's house. That's right. Let's go. Come on, sir. Get him up, scout. Hurry, old fellow. Hurry! You won't never forget. You stand still. Now, now, leave my brother go. And you, you little wildcat, kick me again and I'll give you what I'm giving your brother. You. Hey, what is it? Mask, take it. Oh, why you? And here's another. Oh, hit him again, mask man. Hit him again. Get up, and I'll take that whip and use it on you. You dirty. You want some? Drop that gun. I'll show you what happens. You mask. My hand. You're not hurt. But I should have shot to kill. My hand, you smashed Keep it. Keep still. You can't. Oh, take more of the same. You. Now then, what's your name? My name's Eric Blake, mister. Well then, young fella, you'd better tell me what this is all about. But first, we're going in that shed where you won't be soaked. curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
Now to continue our story. While the storm raged outside and the rancher Blackman stood by, the masked man listened to the children's story. When they'd finished... Well, Blackman, if I were you, I'd forget about this. And let the children have their horse. Blast it, taint theirs. It's mine. I paid for it. Let them have Toby. Now I'll return home with them and explain to their father. If he understands, I'm sure he'll return the money you paid. Gee, mess man, will you talk to Pa? Will you really? Of course I will, Eric. Oh, that'll be fine. How do I know he'll pay any attention to a mess man? You don't. Well, then, why do you... In the first place, Dennis Blake is no thief. You should know that. You're bound to either get the cash back or the horse. Uh, and in the second place, uh, if you've any idea of refusing, I'll start in again where I left off a while back. A man who would strike a child deserves far more than what I've given you. Boy, oh, I didn't know how things was. How could I? Then you let them have the horse? I guess so. Good. Yippee! Hear that, Celia? You hear it? Oh, my! Where is Toby? He's right outside by the corral. And I'm going to put you two aboard and get you home. It's going to be dark when we get there. And if I'm not mistaken, your parents are worried right now. It's so dark in the storm. Honey, Zeke and I have already been out. It was so dark, we couldn't see a thing. We came back for these lanterns. That we did, ma'am. And, and you found no trace of them at all? No, Edna. Oh. But this time we will if we have to search till sunup. Zeke, take that lantern and come along. Right. Then I'm coming, too. Then take that other lantern, honey. Yes. And let's go. Zeke, you hunt through those drawers past the corral. Right. Edna, you search all the buildings. Oh, hurry, Dennis. I'll circle to the west, and we'll meet here at the house in an hour. All right. Come on. Come on, old fellow. Can you keep up, Eric? We'll be all right, mister. How much farther than the house? Just a couple of miles. Then we'll be there in a jiffy. Come on, Silver. Get come up, on. Toby. Get up. Nothing, nothing at all. Come on. We'll go inside and see if Edna's seen anything. But, boy, she ain't there. I've been in the house already. She isn't? Uh Uh-uh. But she should have been back 15 minutes ago at least. (laughs) What's that? Edna, something's happened. Zeke, that came from the direction of the bunkhouse. Come on. (laughs) I'm coming. Edna, honey, what's wrong? Answer me, Edna. Where are you? What's happened? Boss, look. What? (laughs) There by the edge of the building. It's her. She's fallen. Edna... Quick, Zeke. Your lamp. Shine it this way. Oh, gosh, Mr. Blake. What's happened to her? She slipped, Zeke, and hit her head against this log. Oh, she hurt bad. I'm very much afraid she is. Oh, golly. Come on, Silver. Come on, Say, who's that? I don't know. Say, ain't there somebody riding this way? I can't see through this storm. Sure, tears. It's a fellow on a white horse. Boss, that's the young uns on Toby. Hello, there. Oh, oh, there, Silver. Oh, oh, oh. Holy... Quiet. Mask man. <coughs> oh, what's happened here? I'll answer no questions now. We can save that for later. My wife's been seriously injured. I'll ask you to help me carry her to the house. Of course. Zeke. Uh, yes, boss. Saddle up and ride for town. Bring Doc Wheeler back as quick as you can. What do you think? Dennis, she's seriously injured. I'm sorry I told Tonto not to come with me. She needs help as quickly as she can get it. But do you think... I mean, will she die? If she doesn't get medical attention, I wouldn't want to say. Oh. But if Zeke brings the doctor here quickly enough, she should be in no real danger. But he's got to hurry. He's got to. I'm sure he will. Oh, that, that worthless, no-good horse. Toby? He's responsible for this. If the children hadn't gone for him, this wouldn't have happened. 
I'll have him shot the minute it's daylight. Are you being fair, Dennis? I wish I'd shot him in the first place. The horse is to blame. It was only because circumstances ordered things that way. I still in fact, say I'm that... I'm not sure you're not more to blame for this than anyone or anything. What's that? You refuse to allow for the love children can hold for their pets. You were not only thoughtless, you were cruel when you sold Toby. It's a lie. That's not so. I think it is. I tell you, it isn't. Zeke! You made the trip already. Zeke, where's Doc Wheeler? Is he outside? Did he come here? Boss, I'm sorry. What do you mean? He ain't got no idea how it's been storming. The bridge is down. The river's a raging flood. The bridge? Down? Boss, the river can't be crossed. We're cut off from town. But that means we can't get a doctor. That, that means maybe my wife will die. Boss, if there was anything I could do, I... I'll try it. Huh? Try what? To swim the river on silver. Dennis, don't give up hope. If it can be done, sir, will do it. Hey, don't be a loco idiot. Come back here, come back. Oh, boss, he's gone. What you let him do it for? It's the same as suicide. Why didn't you call him back? I couldn't call him back, Zeke. I couldn't. I'll silver away. Battle of our lives. Hi! Hi, Maxwell! What? Help! Help! Silver, it's Eric. He and his horse are caught in the river. Come on, old fellow. Help, Maxwell, help me! Hold on, Eric! Hold on! Into the water, old boy! We're coming, Eric! Hold on! Oh, boss, it, it looks to me like she's getting paler all the time. Zeke, she is. She must have help. Maybe the masked man will make it. I'll wait till sunup, Zeke. Uh -huh. And then if he hasn't returned, I'll try it myself. Try a thing like this for? I wanted to get the doctor for Ma. But didn't you know you were risking your life? The odds were a thousand to one against you. I, I couldn't help it, Mask Ben. I, I just had to try. It was my fault and Toby's, and, and I wanted to do what I could. We leave Toby here to rest till we get back. Get back? You and I are going on to town for Doctor Wheeler, Eric. Uh huh. And on our return, we'll have the river to swim again. Come on, help with you into the saddle. Is he getting up, Zeke? Did you tell him he'd have to stay with his mother till I got back? Uh, boss, I, uh, I, uh... Well? Now, I don't want you to get excited. Zeke, what is it? I, uh, uh... For heaven's sake, man, can't you talk? Boss, Eric ain't in his room. He's already up? He ain't never been to bed. What? He, his sister's in there a-crying. She told me the whole thing. Boss, when you blame Toby for your wife's being hurt, that young'un slipped out of the house and saddled his horse. 
But what for? Uh, you won't get mad if I tell you? Zeke, if you don't tell me what he's done, yeah, I will wait, get... Wait, boss, now wait, and I'll tell you. He rode out to cross the river to get the dock. No. He did, I tell you. But he couldn't make it. I am. Uh, Zeke, I, if he tried that, he'll drown just as sure as we're standing here. Boss, it's awful. And there ain't no use pretending different. Oh, it's as if I hadn't had enough already. Well, I'll saddle up. No, Zeke, see. you'll stay with Edna. It's my place to go. I should have gone before. Well, if you say so. Look at her, Zeke. She's scarcely breathing. Yeah. Eric gone. Maybe drowned. And if she can live till I get back, it'll be a miracle. Well, I'll gain nothing standing here. I suppose uh, I might... Somebody's stopping outside, boss. Maybe some of the boys. I'll send them along with you. Yeah, they may be able to help. So. Uh, say, don't you fellas know better than to come into the boss's house without knocking? You, you... Holy smoke. The masked man. And Eric. And Doc Wheeler. Dennis, let me have a look here. But, where did you oh, come? Oh, the masked man died. He got a cross, and on top of that, he saved me from drowning. Did we get here in time? Doctor, do you think that everything oh, will one be... One moment. Dennis, she'll be all right. But I wouldn't have answered for her if I'd been delayed another hour. She'll live. Yes, Dennis, she'll live. Mask man, I owe you everything. If it hadn't been for what you've done, what you've risked... Dennis, I'm going to tell you something. What? When I first arrived at the river, it seemed impossible to cross. Not even sure I would have attempted it if Eric here on Toby hadn't had the courage to make the attempt before me. If you're thanking me, remember that you owe them at least as much. Eric. Y yeah, Pa? Uh, I'm so proud of you, son. I... I just don't know what to say. But Toby, Pa, can I keep him? Can I? Eric, from this day on, Toby will be yours. And he'll live off the fat of the land. The story you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of The Lone Ranger, Incorporated. <laughs>